CEO Ben Smith is with me now, and Ben, good day to you. You were quite vocal on Sunday, got a lot of attention for um, what appeared to be a short but very succinct speech at the World War II Memorial. You said something to our producers a bit earlier today. You think the government is trying to provoke the veterans to do something. What do you mean by that? And that's just not my statement. I mean, within, within the people who see things wrong here, who are looking at the uh, shutdown, this, is, this can be absolutely planned, and it's a conversation topic. They want us to do something. They either want to diminish our voice or our significance or draw contact, and they can crush us. I mean, you've got Sheila Jackson Lee, who is calling for martial law to end the shutdown. I mean, that's... That's insane. That's getting rid of the Constitution of the United States, which is also what every service member has signed up to and including their life for, to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against enemies both foreign and domestic. So we've got a government here that seems to be wanting to create the conditions that they want to take our Second Amendment, you know, they're, they're going for the Second Amendment. They're trying to take guns from the veterans uh, with PTSD and all those types of things. Um, voting rights. Um, in the past elections, there was a lot of problems with the veterans in voting, getting the ballots back from overseas. And they want to discredit the military and get us to do something stupid so they can lock us down, get rid of, you know, you can call it a conservative Tea Party movement, it's more people who believe in the foundations of this country are the people that they're poking at, which are the citizens of this country. Well, and that's what, what, the what, people in the government. Uh, make sense of this. Um, we're looking at the World War II Memorial there in Washington. I mean, it's essentially a sidewalk that comes off the mall. Why would the government mm -hmm. put up barricades, pay people, spend the money, so that they could install barricades to keep people out? What, what, why would that happen? Well, there's such political dissension in the, in the country. They're thumbing their noses at each other. And the thing is, the American citizen and the American service member are now the battlefield. They're trying to fight over us or to get votes. And it's become a political war game. It's like a cold civil war out there for which way the country wants to go. And the right isn't the right anymore. There's no real American, real political figures who believe in the Constitution. And, you know, I could name a few of them who I would kind of trust on the Hill. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, only a few. They're using us. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you've made the point clear that, you know, you think the military is being used as pawns in this whole fight back and forth. Tell me about the Oath Keepers. Who are these people trying to keep at the memorials open in Washington? Yeah, the um, the Oath Keepers are going to be standing watch there. I, when I was when I was there at the event, um, I had to do security for for people coming in. Um, you know, like um, the figures coming in and out, and I needed people fast. And the Oath Keepers, you know, have always been there. We have a we have a good relationship, and they help set up the security. They helped. Um, so they're they're kind Get of standing of some... they're, they're kind of standing guard right now, right then? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, you know what? That's that's who we are. That's just a veteran. It's not in particular to this group. Any veteran who sees something going on, that's why you see in a lot of um within the movement or the protests that are happening on on I don't know my side of the fence, whatever side that is, politically I don't know these days. But there's no violence, there's no profanity, no one's there is drunk, they're not paid to be there, and there's respect and dignity. They're there just to keep order and everyone in line to be, to be good. That's what they're there for. Well, you're, you're in Knoxville, Tennessee today. I imagine you'll be in Washington again very soon, and we'll see what happens here at the memorial today. Ben Smith, thank you, and thank you for your service in Iraq in 2005 and 2006. This ben is for Smith. the service members who didn't come back. Thank you, Ben. Thank you.